Today, I'm going to show you a very good device for DIY your speakers. Our up to stream uh, wireless stereo plate amplifier. Up to stream plate amp is a wireless streaming device. It has both Wi Fi and Bluetooth connection. It supports AirPlay, Spotify Connect, DLNA, and UPnP streaming protocols. It is very small and it's easy to install. You just need to put it into a speaker chasers and then it is ready to use. It is a 40 watt stereo amplifier. It is very good to use it to build a desktop or bookshelf speakers. You can also add a battery to make it into a portable speakers. Uh, you can use it in your room, your workshop or in kitchen. Anywhere that with a small room is, is enough. It has very good sound quality thanks to the Infino MA12070P amplifier IC used in this device. It also supports multi-room function. You can group with any RX products to form a multi-room and play music in sync. This is our Wi-Fi module. Uh, it's used to provide the Wi-Fi and the streaming function. Here is the cable to connect to the internal power supply. At the bottom, the whole part is the power supply. Be careful, do not touch this part when you have the power plugged in. It will cause electric shock and damage your body. These two connectors is for the left channel and right channel speaker connection. We also have expansion pins on this device. This is the LED pin for you to hook up external LED lights. Here is the IR receiver pin uh, for you to hook up an external IR receiver. This is the ADC pin, so you can connect to a button board to have a but control buttons. This is the speedif in pin, so you can connect an external speedif in board that with a optical and a coaxial connection. Now let us look at the back of the all the connectors. Here is the volume knob. You can turn it to change the volume up or down. It is all, it is also a button. You can press it once. To switch the input mode, plus twice to repair the Wi-Fi or Bluetooth connection. Press it three times in a row will enter a factory reset, so it will change all the settings to the default. You can long press this button to turn off the device. When the device is off, just press once to turn it back on. This is the LED light. Uh, it represents a different uh, input status. When in Wi-Fi, it is a white light. It will have three stage status. One is a quick flashing, which indicates the system is booting. Uh, when it's re-entered to a uh, pairing mode, which waiting for connection for Wi-Fi, it will be slowly flashes. Once the Wi-Fi connection is established, it will be a solid white light. Bluetooth light will be a blue light, and the same it. When it's not connected, it will be uh, slowly flashes. Once it's connected, it will be a solid blue. The aux in is a green light. When there is no connection, uh, if you didn't use the cable to plug it in uh, and you change to this mode, it will slowly flash too. And when you connect to a PC, the LED light will change to yellow. Next is the aux input. You can use this to connect to a CD player, PC, or t television, well, any device that has a analog output. To add as a source for this product, this tool is the uh, is for the antenna for the Wi-Fi and the Bluetooth. Here you can see a Type A USB input port. This is for use to uh, connect to PC, so it will add as a external sound card. And also you can use uh, our ACP Workbench DSP tuning tool to fine tune the amplifier. This is the LAN port for you to connect your LAN cable to your router to provide network connection. This tool is the uh, left channel speaker output. This device by default is uh, add as the right channel for a satellite speaker. So if you want to have another one for a left channel, you can use this to connect to it. Uh, if you, it is on, also, if you want to put in a single box that has two speakers, you can ignore the one on the back, but instead use the connector inside the board to connect directly to the left channel speaker and the right channel speaker. 
this is the subwoofer out used to connect to an uh, active subwoofer. At the end, I saw the, this uh, screwdriver holes. Uh, you, you, sh you should use the screw that is a KM 3.5 times 15 mm screws. Here is the AC port for the power supply. Just plug in the power cable we are supply for you. So now we'll unbox the package and see what's inside. This is the uh, plate itself. This is the power cable. This is the type A USB cable. There's a two antenna for Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. We have a speaker cable for you to connect to the internal speaker. We have two strip of EVA sticker. Each strip has two stickers in it. And we have a user manual. If you want to build a wireless portable speaker or satellite speaker, this product is very good for you. It's very easy to use and to build on any DIY speakers. If you're interested in these products, I'll put down a link of our website down below. And if you want to tell us more about what you think of this product or what you are going to make with this product, you can leave comments below too. By the way, I believe many people have found out that we have a forum going up. And if you register now, you'll get an 8% off discount. And this will end uh, in the end of uh, June. So hurry up and go sign up now. I'll see you in the next video. If you like this channel, please press the subscribe button. And don't forget to press that little bell to receive notice when we release our new videos. Thank you.